The Belgian king and the South African, the South Africa's director general of the science and innovation department, Dr. Will um, Jocha, visited a new indoor energy storage test bed at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Uh, it's due to become fully operational in May. Ranesh uh, Takurdin is an electrical engineer at the CSIR, joins us now to talk more about this project. Thank you so much for making time for us, Ranesh. Uh, tell us more about this new indoor energy storage test bed. Thank you for having me, Clement. Um, so the indoor energy storage test bed, uh, it came about through the existing relationship South Africa has with the Flemish government. We are also part of the World Bank Energy Storage Partnership. It is through these entities that we have also partnered with Vito, who is a, also a research facility in Belgium. And when these entities came together, the idea for the indoor energy storage test beds. So one of the working groups in the World Bank is test beds. And South Africa has partnered with the Flemish government. We've come together and we've created this beautiful piece of machinery. Um, it's actually a number of machines that come together to actually test lithium ion batteries. Aha. Uh -huh. So... How we store energy, I suppose, is at the center of, of the successful use of renewable resources such as solar and wind. So am I correct to say that to integrate the renewable resources into our grid, energy storage then is going to be important? 100% correct. You can have renewables on the grid without mm -hmm. energy storage, but there are times when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow, and batteries... Technically, utility-scale batteries will come into play in, in that sense. Um, you want to have something that you can store energy for use for later use. Today in Pretoria, it's actually quite gloomy, so uh, a battery would come online very quickly. Yeah. Batteries have a fast response time, so it makes it very useful, for, especially on a utility scale. Yeah. So, so how is this collaboration with Belgium going to help in paving the way for the renewable energy transition? Mm -hmm. It's a great question. So we are working with Belgium uh, right now, the Vito personnel. Uh, we work with them weekly. They're actually down in South Africa right now, and they help build uh, capacity. So they have a very impressive uh, battery lab in Thor Park, and they have the expertise. They've been working on this for a number of years, and they are trying. They are trans transferring their skills and knowledge to us, and we will be also be transferring our skills and knowledge to the uh, people of South Africa as well. So this also speaks to the just energy transition that South Africa will definitely benefit from. Mm -hmm. So will this also help build capacity in, in the battery industry? Uh, I suppose as lower capacity clients, um, what's going to be the impact there? Because they'll have access to this indoor testbed facilities, right? And, and I suppose then there's overall market knowledge uh, that can be improved. Correct. Yes, so um, there's a number of points to address there. Number one is the lithium-ion battery standards within the country. We are lacking right now, but we'll be approaching the relevant entities to develop those standards, much-needed standards within the country. Um, the second point is we can, we will be testing for uh, manufacturers, importers, developers. A lot of people can use the facility. The, when the World Bank commissioned a study in South Africa, they found that there's a lack of testing in the country. Now, there are, there are uh, one or two other testers within the country, but we will be contributing to that. Mm. Now, when we do need testi uh, testing for, uh, facilities for manufacturers and assemblers, and we have been already been approached by a number of these who would like to set up shop in the country, and once these manufacturers do set up shop with the testing facility, yeah. again, it will lead to the just energy transition, creating more jobs. Yeah. So how is this going to benefit the local players in the battery value chain? Mm -hmm. um, there's a number of ways. The One of the working groups in the Energy Storage Partnership is repurposing and recycling of batteries. That is another area that is untapped within the country. A few people are in that area but we hope to contribute to it much more. We will also be servicing the greater community in terms of validation and aging services. So when you do buy a battery, we can tell you whether it is according to spec. 
and whether it will deliver the pieces of equipment we have is a battery chair, a battery tester, and a climate chamber. So we will be able to tell you where and when this battery will perform mm. uh, great. If you think about the Northern Cape, it gets pretty hot down there, and these back your performance of your batteries will be compromised if it's too hot or too cold. We'll be able to tell you best time, so yeah. best time, best operating conditions. Mm. And I imagine that will in turn boost the country's capabilities in, in the renewable energy storage. Are we now going to see a greater focus on the energy storage technology innovation and even localization? Yes, yes. Uh, there, there are a number of companies. One that comes to mind, well, there's a number actually. There's too many to actually think about. Um, there are right now uh, tests being done on utility scale batteries in terms of well, different chemistries. There's uh, vanadium redox flow batteries uh, from the likes of Bushlight Energy. Um, there's a lot of companies that are looking at actually stepping in. We, it's no secret that we are suffering with load chaining and bringing battery storage into this, while not the solution, is part of the solution, will definitely help in that regard. Mm. So when can we expect this um, storage to be fully operational? Uh, right now, there are a number that are going online. I'm not sure I uh, expect exact dates. I'm hoping within the year, mm. and we'll see the effects very soon, I think. All right. Thank you so much for making time. Ranesh uh, Takurdin is an electrical engineer at the CSIR. I appreciate your time this afternoon.